is JT Tran from the ABCs of Attraction, USA's number one Asian dating coach. And joining me is Andrew, one of the experts that I know about social intelligence, emotional intelligence, and inner game. So today I want to talk about a very just sort of meta concept of inner game, which is vulnerability and how actually vulnerability is strength. And you had like a really cool comment that you just told me when it comes to how you can use vulnerability to enrich your life when it comes to relationships. Um, to me, vulnerability is the difference between a quick interaction and actually building a relationship. Mm. Vulnerability creates intimacy, which is into me you see, which is the foundation from my perspective of all relationships. Whether or not I'm willing to choose to stand in vulnerability makes or breaks the relationship. Right. There is something that we teach during the ABC's boot camp where we discuss the things that we are unhappy about ourselves and how we can, like, work at deconstructing it and empowering ourselves and what I find is when the students can admit it in the world mm -hmm. right it makes them more powerful because they can stand in that vulnerability but even really useful when it comes to talking to people talking to women like you're saying is it is a difference between a one night stand and a you know possible relationship because what I found what my students have found is when they actually tell girls when they admit to their vulnerabilities the things that they are unhappy about and are working to improve in, upon their life or what they've succeeded on you know fixing is the woman not only does she feel special because you are engaging in emotional intimacy with her um but it again like this is a girl if she empathizes and it really connects you on that level then she wants to more likely be attracted and you know you have that attraction and then you have this deeper level of connection that just goes beyond like the superficial absolutely and i think one of the key distinctions to make is vulnerability is different than victimhood mm, yes there's a Great distinction. There's a difference between, oh, look at poor me, poor me, poor me, poor me, and these are the things that happened to me, then standing in vulnerability, creating responsibility behind their vulnerability. So this happened to me, and I'm in ownership because of this, and from my ownership, this is what I found and discovered about myself. Okay. Can you, or is there a particular way or technique that these guys can use that are watching this video to, you know, not only just recognize their vulnerability, but how can they use that in an actual sort of way that they can take away from this video watching now? Um, like you said earlier, it's vulnerability a concept is really meta and there's no one set way to do it. The way I see it is until I'm willing to try and to stand in that uncomfortableness mm -hmm. of vulnerability, I can't create the results. So by standing in it, then whatever feedback I receive, whether it's rejection, whether it's you know them telling the fuck off, or you know whatever it may be, it's up to me to see it as neutral feedback. Right. And from there, I can grow. And vulnerability is a skill set of sharing myself. So from that context. It's up to me to cre take in the feedback and do something with it. So share and speak your mind, or for me, sh I share and I speak my mind, and whatever feedback I get gives me a gauge of where I'm at. Am I going too far in it? Am I sharing too quickly or not? And like mm -hmm. gauging between that. Right. I mean, there is obviously when you're sharing, you don't necessarily want to <laughs> overshare. At least in the beginning, like you said, <laughs> you don't want to be telling her like you know until the age of 15, you used to wet the bed. Yeah. Like there, you might have like great like you know reason behind that because you had like you know past trauma. But there is, you, know, you can graduate to <laughs> that certain point. But it's definitely like you're saying standing in that vulnerability. And one of the things I, I teach my students is first of all, you've got to acknowledge it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you've got to admit that this is something that you feel, I don't know, insecure, vulnerable about it, and you've got to put it out there, verbalize it, write it down, right? Put it in the real world, and then when you are, you know, going beyond just a superficial, like, getting to know them, building attraction, and you're actually sitting down and doing a deeper level of connection, like, actually talk about it. Mm -hmm. Like, here's the thing, every person 
is interested in what like the opposite sex thinks. Every person is interested in like you know what we think and and how we can improve upon our lives. So you can frame it in the way like, hey, I'm taking this emotional intelligence class, right? I'm taking some self development class. Like everybody's interested in that, and you say like, this is something that I've discovered about myself, and I'm working on it, and actually. Put it out there to her, and what she feels is she feels special, right? She feels that you are trying to establish a real connection with her instead of the guy that's going around the club being like the high five guy or the PUA spin guy, and then you're just superficial. You're like a, a zero calorie candy human being. Yeah. Um, one thing that's coming up here, and you say this is build the relationship before vulnerability mm. comes in, and it's like it's a gauge, you know. Until I, I go too far, I can't really tell how far I can go. And the invitation is to look at what type of relationships you want to create. And for me, personally, it's one of intimacy. Mm -hmm. And with that in mind, then is there really too far? So it's up to me to decide the relationship now. And I'm the one who's creating the relationship as opposed to please like me, please like me, please like me. Right. And it's shifting that concept of I need you to like me in order to feel fulfilled or feel fulfilled to I am fulfilled and I am in ownership of who I am my past experiences, my present, and my future. And from that place, in ownership, designing the relationship that I want. Mm. Yeah. So, you know, for, for you guys that, you know, especially for those of you guys who've taken like ABCs or Traction Boot Camp and have discovered how actually easy it is to approach girls and how actually easy it is to build attraction or even how easy it is to engage in like a sexual relationship, and get a one-night stand and whatnot, for those of you guys who want to go beyond that, actually having a relationship, actually connecting more deeply with a woman, definitely consider just opening up, right? Framing it properly, but opening up to your vulnerability, standing in that, because vulnerability is strength. Um, any last tips for the guys when it comes to inner game and vulnerability? Yeah, think of it as a roller coaster. If mm. I'm, I'm in a place where the energy is super high, super high, super high, super high, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh yeah, my dad passed away when I was four. <laughs> it doesn't, That's a little bit too... It, it does, it's like a jolt. You know, right. It's like a drop, and that drop, you know, from my experience, comes too suddenly for a relationship to grow up. Right, so it's gauging that where you are at in the conversation, in the relationship that's built in, in, being built in that moment, and having it vulnerability come out naturally, as opposed to a check mark that I'm checking off. Yeah. Right, when I treat vulnerability as oh, I need to be vulnerable, t let me take this box, then it's going to come off as such. Right, authenticity is my willingness to be present in the moment and respond. Yeah. To me, like I had this quote, like confidence uh, and success is how willing are you to show up, mm. to show up physically, to show up like intellectually, uh, to show up verbally, but also just to show up emotionally with her. And so for those of you guys who are looking to go beyond just having sex with women, but actually engaging in deeper, intimate connection and relationship, start including like inner game and vulnerability into your personality and be willing to invest into her so that she can invest into you. Right. And as a side note, vulnerability comes out beyond just stories that I'm telling about myself. Mm -hmm. Vulnerability is my willingness to face the unknown and take it on. Vulnerability is my willingness to share a piece of myself, whether it's my thoughts or my actions or my opinion to someone. Because, yeah, when I say it out, I don't know whether or not they're going to like it. So standing in that vulnerability and having that build is what creates strength in a relationship. Okay, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Okay, again, if you want to step up your game where you're actually engaging in a more intimate relationship instead of just a sexual rendezvous, put this as part of who you are and stand in that and own your life, own your, your strengths and your weakness and be willing to put it out there. Mm -hmm. uh, Andrew, how can they find more about you? You have like an Instagram? Yeah, my Instagram is D-A-C-H-3-N-M-A-N. -N. And we'll put it you know, in the video in the description box, so be sure to add him, okay? Uh, he's got some great like nuggets when it comes to inner game, emotional intelligence, uh, social skills. All right, guys? So stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe, all right? And be sure to check out like our free gift when you go to abcsofattraction.com slash quiz if you want to know whether you're hot or not. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.
Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back.